Well, hi again, and welcome to our review for the muscles of the lower limb. Now we're looking at the back of your leg. Uh, we see here uh, a muscle that is shaped like a stomach, uh, has a belly, and we call that gastrocnemius muscle. Gastrocnemius muscle. It has, of course, lateral head and medial head. Um, each of them is coming from the supler, supracondylar uh, ridge from your uh, above the medial and lateral condyles of your femur. Uh, if I am to take one of the heads here to show you the structures below, again, this was your gastrocnemius muscle. We see here another muscle called soleus muscle, soleus muscle, and we see a tiny muscle that's also taking origin from the very distal end of the femur, posterior distal end of the femur, and that would be your plantaris muscle. All the three muscles will join force together into a common insertion here um, called Achilles tendon to be inserted into your calcaneus bone. Okay? Those, of course, are, um, are, ext uh, are um, plantar flexors, so they cause plantar flexion of your foot. Plantar flexion of your foot. If I remove the soleus muscle to show the deeper muscles here, we will have um, a small muscle here that is in the popliteal fossa, and we call that popliteus muscle, popliteus muscle. That unlocks your knee when you are at extension, when you are about to do a flexion position on your knee, it helps unlocking the knee from the extension position. Then we have three muscles here. One of them in the middle will be your tibialis posterior, tibialis posterior, then we have muscles that are opposites to what you would think they are. This one is near the hallux, near the big toe, but yet it is actually your flexor digitorum longus. Flexor digitorum longus, whereas the one on the other side, away from the big toe, we will call that flexor hallucis longus. The reason for that is once they pass here, they shift positions. The tendon, this tendon will go over there, and that tendon from the hallucis will be coming this way to flex your uh, big toe. So these are the muscles of the back, again, of your uh, leg. To recap, this is your popliteus muscle. This is your flexor digitorum longus. This is your flexor hallucis longus and this is your tibialis posterior, and then we have here our soleus muscle, our gastrocnemius muscle, our plantaris muscle, okay? The gastrocnemius, as we learned, has both medial and lateral heads, medial and lateral heads. I'm gonna turn this around to show you the anterior aspect of your leg, if it will just cooperate. Um, so far it's not. Well, here we go. All right. Um, how do we do this? Please stay. Here we go. All right. Uh, we have, we learned from the back there, we had tibialis posterior. So over here we have another muscle called tibialis anterior. This tibialis anterior causes dorsiflexion of your foot, and it's also a powerful uh, inverter. It makes inversion of the foot that is lifting your toe towards you. Not this way, that would be dorsiflexion, but rather this way. Uh, when you, when you uh, tilt your foot that way, that is called inversion. The opposite would be eversion. So that's your tibialis anterior. We have here extensor digitorum longus that causes dorsiflexion of the remaining four toes. And we have extensor pollicis, extensor pollicis. You can only see the tendon here. If I try to remove this muscle, you're not gonna see anything underneath. But this is your extensor pollicis muscle, okay? On the lateral, on the lateral side, uh, so again here, maybe the camera wasn't focused. 
So here again is the tibialis anterior, your extensor digitorum longus, your extensor hallucis tendon is right here, extensor hallucis tendon, and then we have um, on, on the lateral side here, we have a couple of muscles that are worth mentioning. We have fibularis longus or peroneus longus and fibularis brevis, also known as peroneus brevis. Fibularis or peroneus longus and fibularis brevis. We learned here that there is extensor digitorum longus. The extensor digitorum brevis is right here on the foot. This is your extensor digitorum brevis. So these are the muscles of the leg. We covered both the anterior and posterior aspect. To recap, again, this is the tibialis anterior, extensor digitorum longus, and you have here the extensor digitorum brevis, and right here you have the tendon for your extensor hallucis, extensor hallucis, and we will have two peroneus or fibularis muscles, one of them is fibularis longus, and the other one is fibularis brevis. Both fibularis longus and fibularis brevis cause eversion. Remember, it's the opposite of what the tibialis anterior would do. It's called eversion of the foot. Eversion of the foot, and they are both supplied by superficial fibular nerve. Whereas the back of the muscles of the back of the leg all of them are supplied by the tibial nerve, the tibial nerve, okay? So that concludes our uh, muscles of um, the leg. Uh, the only thing remaining now for us to review together will be the muscles of the foot. So I will see you in the next and final video.